There's literally a bass right in front of me. Literally right in front of me. I'm gonna just softly pitch it to him. There we go. There we go. There we go. All the YouTubers Knocks, take out knocks. their GoPros. Thank you. Ready? There we go. Another good one. There we go. Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice one, too. Yes. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go on that bandito bug. Yes. Oh my God. Chill out. I'm so sorry. Nope. Welcome back to the channel friends. So today is our last day at Lake Powell. It is early in the morning. Todd and Taya are out right now. And when they get back, we're gonna pack everything up and we're going to be headed to St. George, Utah for the night. So quick little update. We were supposed to fish Las Vegas like really crazy for a whole day, maybe day and a half. But we thought we were leaving Thursday and we're actually leaving Wednesday. So we got our flights completely mixed up and Todd has his first day at work on the 15th, which is Thursday, blah, 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 blah. So now we can't fish Las Vegas and it really sucks, but that just means we are coming back here because we actually have a buddy that's moving to Las Vegas. So we'll have a place to stay, give or take, I don't know when, but we will be back and we'll be fishing Las Vegas. It is such a bummer because I was so excited to fish Las Vegas and I know that there's good fishing there, especially at Lake Mead, but things happen and we completely messed up the dates by like, I, it was, it's so bad, it's so bad. Anyways, I wanted to let you guys know that we will be back, no problem. I mean, I, I can't get over this place. You walk outside the door and you just have these insane views to my right, to my left, and over there. It's just, I can't get over this place. I have to come back. I never thought I would like it over here and being pretty much in the desert I thought it would kind of freak me out and because you're like I don't know I love it this place is phenomenal but the game plan for today's episode is we're going to St. George and meeting up with Ty the fishing guy he's uh, one of my Instagram followers and I followed him back after he messaged me and he also does YouTube so I'll leave all of his information down below if you guys want to go check him out I'll introduce him to you guys when we get to St. George it's about two and a half give or take three hours to get there so we have a long drive coming up but a long drive with beautiful views so i'm not complaining so stick around stay tuned enjoy today's episode i love you guys so much and thank you guys for 15k i hit it last night and i freaked out <laughs> i like lost my mind so thank you guys so much i'm gonna get everything packed up i gotta pack my suitcase all my fishing gear and get to st george utah i'll catch you guys there Introduce yourself. What's up guys, Ty the fishing guy here. Um, that's my intro to you guys. <laughs> so that's Ty, we're gonna be fishing this really beautiful pond behind us and I gotta get my rod and out to the water and hopefully catch some bass. I've never caught, we're in Utah right now, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, St. George. Yes, that is Utah, sorry. We just left Arizona. So I'm gonna catch my first ever Utah bass today. Fingers crossed. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the green pumpkin bandito bug. If you guys wanna go pick this up, it'll be linked down below. Save 15% off with my code. Are you gonna use my code? I got you. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we, oh yeah, we've only caught we a small not, mouth. We have not caught a single large mouth on this trip. <laughs> That's really sad. All right. We've all right, only guys, caught a small mouth. The man the right What's up, guys? Well, now we need our first large mouth of the trip. I just put two, in, well, Todd just put two and two together. So <laughs> that's probably important to catch a large mouth. <laughs> only small mouth and bluegill. <gasps> oh, 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 my first cast. 
Bandito bug. Oh, I got hammered. There's really a bass right in front of me. Literally right in front of me. I'm gonna just softly pitch it to him. There we go. Yes! Yes! I sight fished him. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? That was so sick. My first ever Utah bass. Yeah! <laughs> Give me the thumbs up. He's so pale. He was literally just right in front of me. Oh, see you later, buddy. That was so epic. I feel so complete. Yes. <laughs> Oh, we got a bass. We got a bass. We got a bass right here. We got a bass right here. There we go. <laughs> yes. Another sight fish bass. My two bass here have been completely sight fished. Oh my god. That is so funny. I wish I had a phone. I wish I had my phone so I could take a picture. So sick, man. See you later. We're going to another one of these ponds that has like really big fish in them. So make sure you guys stay tuned in the video because we could get an absolute giant. I mean, we're not in New England anymore. So we're chasing after largemouth. We have a better opportunity to catch big ones here than, you know, back at home. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, third fish of the day. Both of mine came shallow and this one came out in the middle of the pond. So I don't really have the pattern figured out, but I know they want the bandito bug. Shout out to Guggen Base for sponsoring today's video. See you there, bud. One major tip I have for you guys is if you noticed, when I was walking up on the bank, I was super far away and I'd cast that way at the bank and where I'm about to walk up so I didn't spook any bass. Um, that's really important when you're bank fishing because sometimes these fish will literally be as shallow as they can get. <clears throat> and I think I just proved that when I caught those two fish, I literally sight fished them and it's like 90 degrees out. They don't care, they're just super shallow. Um, so when you're bank fishing, just make sure that you are not spooking any fish because you could lose a lot of potential bites. I learned that the hard way when I was a kid. <laughs> Quick little mid-mission update. Bandito bug, killing it. Link down below. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, Guggen Baits. Let's go crank some more fish. All right, guys, we're at spot number two. It looks insanely juicy. Mountains in the background. Nice ducks everywhere. The last one had a lot of ducks too. I'm gonna try to see if I can get my first topwater bite of the entire trip. But there's a pipe with water coming out right now. And that looks like a bandito bug situation to me. Oh, I just saw something spook. There's gotta be a fish on this drain. There's no way there's not. All right, we're leaving this spot, headed to spot number three. No activity here. Ty did have a couple bites. Oh, I see baby bass, way too small. There's definitely fish here. I'm shocked that there's nothing at this drain. Oh my God, another baby bass. One, two, three, four, five, six, six micro bass. <laughs> that would never be able to eat this bandita bug. Anyways, see you guys at spot number three. Apparently it's super clear here. All these spots have been super clear though. You don't get those in Rhode Island, I can tell you that. So coming here and seeing all these clear ponds is sick. Oh, 
No. Yeah. Darn it. There we go. Nice. Second cast. First cast got a bite. Second cast got a bite and actually capitalized on it, which is always the goal. Another bandito bugfish. My smallest of the day. Oh my god, there's a big fish. Did you see that? Oh, he's going after it. Holy crap, dude. It's so clear. This is unreal. Like, I, I, I've never seen a pond so clear in my life. Wow, this place is unreal. I'm gonna put a GoPro in the water and show you guys this because I literally have never seen a pond so clear in my life. Oh my God, it's a tank. There's, oh, there's, there's, there's two, there's two, there's I two. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, I crossed you. That's like a four. Three, four, I don't know. I would say it's three, four, yeah, it's a big fit. They're so, probably so stressed out right now. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he looked at it. Oh, my God. So many ants. Oh, my God. I'm in a red ant thingy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I'm going over here. Damn it. More ants. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Ty and I were just messing around and oh, look, 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 look. That one's going for it. That and, going for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ty, 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 Ty. <laughs> That's like oh, I can't. Ty and I were just like messing around and I look to my right and there's four bass and we look in front of us and there's three oh, bass. Oh, oh. oh. No. They're all so big too. Like they're not They're good healthy fish. Yeah, and these are like decent fish right here. This is crazy. I'd say probably a couple pounds, pound and a half. That one was definitely like hitting that three mark range, that big one. Factual evidence. Oh my god. We should really go to the next spot though. One, two, two three. three. We're going to spot five. Yeah, five. We're going to spot five right now. I'm, a, I'm sweating just a little bit. It's really hot out. Um, as a New Englander, I'm just not used to this. We're going to the last spot of the day. Sun's going down. We'll see if we can make it happen. Fingers crossed. Um, oh well. <laughs> so apparently this spot's really easy to get kicked out of, but people fish it like crazy, so We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. Yes, that's a good one. Nice. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, six cents for me. You. There we go. Yes, sir. Nice. Nice. That's a nice one, dude. Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! On that bandito bug. Yes! Oh my god, chill out. I'm so sorry. No. Nope. Dude, that choked it. Nice. Uh, let's go. All the YouTubers Nux, take Nux. out their GoPros. Thank you. Finn, Finn, Finn. Finn. Noggin. Oh, okay. Okay. I gotta oh my take my GoPro oh my off. Gosh, look at this fish right here. Alright, time to put this fish back. Oh, I'm so stoked right now. See you later, buddy. Let's go. There we go. Another good one. Another good one. God, it's another tank. This one's bigger. Ow! No, calm down. Say that one looks bigger. It looks bigger. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Just a little bit bigger. Another bass. Let's go. Finally getting on a good bite right now. Oh, the bandito bug, guys. You already know. Link down below. Catches toads. Catches small ones. Catches them all. There we 
There we go. Oh, 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 oh. I yoinked him out of the pond. It's literally an inch of water over here and I can't believe I just caught this bass. Ty and I were walking over here and I was like, yeah, it's too shallow. And he was like, yeah, and he turned around and I took one last cast, even though it's super shallow. Smallest at this pond, but man, I don't care. A fish is a fish. So sick. <laughs> no fishing. <laughs> oh wait, sorry. <laughs> My bad. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you can't tell, I'm back home. Got my beanie on. It is really cold out right now. I'll check the weather just to actually give you guys an accurate answer. Uh, 47. <laughs> 47 degrees out and I left about 80 to 90 degree weather every single day so really weird for me to just being home I got home really late last night had the motivation to unpack I got tested this morning because when you land you have 72 hours to get tested or you have to quarantine for two weeks and I'm, I'm not gonna quarantine for two weeks because that's just yeah that means no content for you guys for two full weeks sounds like a horrible idea so Man, I don't know what else to say. This trip was a lot of fun. If you couldn't tell, Todd and I struggled the first day and a half because we only half fished one day when we landed. It was pretty brutal. We struggled, we struggled, and then we rented those kayaks. We got on some fish. We went to St. George. We got on some fish. I would have to say my favorite day was a video you guys watched today. It was a blast. If you could not tell, my buddy Ty will be linked down below. He gave me some drone footage that he was taking while we were there fishing those spots. So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say except for I was really in love with the drone. So I bought it with this much money in my bank account. I bought a drone. So <laughs> I don't know what to say to you guys. I literally just bought a drone. I was so happy and editing that video with the drone footage. I was like, wow, this video that you guys just watched is so cool. This is, I have to get one. I just have to get one. And I don't know how long it's been since you guys have been asking for me to get a drone. Probably, I would say about like seven months ago was when my first comment came about getting a drone and I finally just got one. So it took me seven months to get one after you guys blowing up my comments and my DMs and you guys just kept finding ways to message me and tell me to get a drone, commenting on my Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Uh, even Twitter, I got blown up on Twitter too, I, crazy. So I did it, I pulled the trigger, I bought a drone, I'm home. The weather is cold, it's gonna be hard to adjust. I think my game plan for tomorrow is to head up to Boston and do some city fishing for you guys. I think you guys would really like that a lot. So look forward to that. I also did film another video while I was there, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload it just yet. It was night fishing. I think it's a pretty cool video, but if you guys wanna see one more video from Lake Powell, let me know and I will definitely upload it for you guys. But that's all I got. The trip is ended, fully ended, I am home. It was one of the worst feelings coming home and then I got home and then I was happy to be home. So, yeah. Not much else to say to you guys. I love you guys so much. We literally just hit 16K. We're growing like crazy. So, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I have nothing left to say to you guys. I'm home and this trip was awesome. And hopefully I'll leave Rhode Island pretty soon again because it's a lot of fun when you get to leave New England. But it's not fun when you get to come home to cold weather. So that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the view and the support and following along this whole entire series. It ends here, but I will be out in Las Vegas again. Guaranteed. It was a blast. I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>